Okay, I'm about to share my beloved Hot Wheels Redline collection with all of you people out there on the internet who go on YouTube and are into that sort of thing. And let me tell you first that I'm 65 years old. I started collecting, not collecting, but buying Hot Wheels Redlines when I was a kid, when they first came out in 1968. And the red lines were my favorite toys. I used to buy the orange tracks. I used to set them up and I used to just race them all over the place. You know, they would be flying around the living room and upstairs in the bedrooms and bathrooms and you name it. But of course I wouldn't do that stuff nowadays. These cars are way too valuable. And starting in the late nineties, I've managed to put together quite a collection that has made me very happy that I can stare at them every day. I have them in my bedroom. In fact, on one side, I've got one case. And on the other side, I've got the other case, which I'm going to go through all these cars with you and discuss them. Okay, so here we have a case that I purchased in the late 90s sometime on eBay. I don't remember who the guy was that made it, but these were custom made, beautiful plexiglass windows and shelves, much nicer than keeping the cars tucked away in a drawer or something where you can't enjoy looking at them. You know, you don't want to play with cars like this because they, they, they're, they're all in near mint condition. I'm very picky about my collection and all of these cars are in near mint con condition. They're very hard to find. You go on eBay nowadays, you're gonna find junk. You're going to find a lot of scratched up, beat up junk, a lot of restored cars back in the early 2000s, late 90s. I never saw restored, restored. I mean, who the hell wants restored? That's That destroys the entire value of the car. You know, it's just, to me, you, it's not original. Anyway, these are all original cars. And as you can see by the top rows, the Dodge Chargers are my favorite. So here we have... The 1969 Charger with the Hemi based on the 69 Charger Hemi in gold. This is like a honey gold, beautiful color. I can't tell you how much I love this car. It's, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Next one over is a yellow Charger. And the yellow, this is a real yellow Charger. This is not when you get the eBay sellers that say yellow and it's really lime yellow like nine out of 10 of them are. This is the pure yellow. This is how it's supposed to look. This is a yellow charger right here. Very rare color and beautiful too. I paid a lot of money for this car. Next one over, this is lime green or some people would call it lime or lime yellow, but it's definitely, you know, these, these shades overlap. I mean, you can have you can have several that are in the same category of, let's say, lime yellow, but one will be a little more green, one will be a little more yellow. This one is is, is more like a celery color. You know, it's a beautiful color. I, I would call it a light lime color charger right here. And then over here, you've got the color light green. They call this light green. Don't mistake this with the regular green because this is the light green. I'll get to the regular green in a moment. The light green is a beautiful color. It's, it's, it's just a, it's amazing, the Spectra Flame paints that they used back in 68 through 71, they, 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 you know, they, they just had like that candy look, you know, looked like, 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 like you just couldn't resist buying them when you were a kid. That was the whole strategy behind Mattel was, was, to, was to get kids to want these cars, it made them look like, like candy, you know. Here you've got a uh, aqua color. And this one is more of a, what they call graqua, which is a combination of green and blue, but more like like teal. It looks aqua. It is, it is aqua. But there's another one next to it that is more of a bluish aqua, and that is this one right here. If you compare the two, these are both aqua. This has more green, a green, more greenish hue to it. If you look at the paint, Okay, and if you go look at this one here, this has more of a bluish look. And then right below it, you have the blue. This is a blue 
just they call it plain blue. And believe it or not, very hard to find. There's a little nick there, but that's, I mean, if, if that's the worst of things, I, I could live with that all day long. Most of my cars don't even have that. But that that's that's like considered for me that would be this would be a major flaw. But it, it's it's I've had this car 25 years, so I could care less. You know, really love it. So that's regular blue. Now we have the green. This is green. The regular they call it green charger. If you compare the green, there's a light green. You can see the difference. Green, light green, and then over here we have antifreeze. Now, this is another color that's very misunderstood because people call lime yellow cars all day long on eBay. Collectors that don't know or sellers that are trying to command higher prices and they know that antifreeze is a very rare and expensive color in most models. So they call it antifreeze. Well, this is a true antifreeze. And the way you can tell is it has that sort of cloudy, milky appearance, like sort of sort of like a translucent appearance to the green. Believe me, this was a very hard car to find. It's got a lot of toning, but it nevertheless, you can't find nicer examples than this on eBay. I can't, I couldn't go on eBay. And you'll see all the fake antifreeze chargers on there. You, you, it, it's unbelievable. I have all my antifreeze cars. I have, I have everything grouped by color. I have the model of the cars, and then I have like going across the rows, all the different colors, but I'll get to that with you. So antifreeze charger, then we got pink. This is a beautiful hot pink or nuclear pink, whatever you want to call it. They call it hot pink, but look at this thing. I mean, how could anybody resist this car? This color, it, it just automatically calms your nerves. It makes you feel like you just had a martini, you know, or, or drank a, a nice cold Heineken beer. I mean, look at this, look at this beautiful, look at, the, look at look at the shine, look at the pink. It's unbelievable, the metallic pink, you know? And these cars, if you find one like this in its original package, you'll spend a couple grand easily if you can find one, you know? This is a loose one, but it's, it's as close to mint as you're gonna find. I mean, this car is absolutely drop dead gorgeous, okay? And you come over here, there's another one, extremely hard to find. This color is magenta. Magenta uh, is like a wine color or maroon or burgundy. A lot of people will call red, different shades of red they call magenta, or they'll, they'll call a car that's more of a rose color car magenta. But now this is the real magenta right here. And here's one that's never been opened. Here's magenta in its original blister pack, what they call a blister bubble or blister pack. And it's never been opened with the original button sealed and it's got a little protective case around it as well. Beautiful car, it's just, just such a beautiful display piece. Here's, here's the loose one, okay? And then we come over, there's my purple beauty. Purple is another color that I just love. I love purple Hot Wheels red lines. Look how beautiful this thing is here. This is a deep purple. Deep purple, look at the beautiful deep purple with, you don't see paint wear on the edges. You don't see nicks and scratches, none of that junk. Just beautiful, shiny purple paint. Okay, then we go down to the Barracuda. This is the uh, 1968, 69 version Barracuda before they changed the style to the E-Body before Mopar changed to what's the more popular car that you see, the one that they that they did to basically compete with the Camaros and Mustangs. Uh, this is the original Barracuda. This is 60, 69 Barracuda. Beautiful purple car, just like the Charger. Absolutely gorgeous. Same shade of purple. You come over here and you have the reddish orange. They would consider this red, but it's got like a reddish orange uh, hue to what I would call it. it. It's in the red family. And then you go over here, you got copper, which is beautiful. Copper is, it's like a penny. Copper, Barracuda, okay, custom Barracuda. They all, they, they're, all the cars are called custom. So you had custom Charger, custom Barracuda. Here's a, a beautiful antifreeze Barracuda. Try to find one of these. Try to find 
an antifreeze barracuda, not the lime yellow that you're going to find them all over the place, a dime a dozen, and they're asking stupid prices for them. But this is a real antifreeze barracuda. And you can see the, the milky coolant type of color to the to blue, the, 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 the greenish cloudy look to it, just like antifreeze in your car. Okay, and here is, uh, this is a green barracuda. It's showing up more like, it's showing up more bluish here because the lighting for some reason is making it look that way. But this is a green barracuda for sure. This is definitely green. I'm trying to catch a certain angle of it so you can see it better. But this is this is a green barracuda, definitely green. Let's see, right there you can see the green. Okay. And then we come over here. Here's a blue one. It's a beautiful blue barracuda. Gorgeous. Then we go down here. We have the 68 Camaro, which was the first red line that was released. The first Hot Wheel red line. 1968 Chevy Camaro. What a beautiful car. What a beautiful design. And this is a this is called aqua. This is aqua. This is not straight blue like the Firebird below it. This is aqua. But look at the condition of this car. Look at the paint. These these Camaros are really fetching crazy money right now. I got to tell you, they're really really bringing some big money in. And again, you get what you pay for. If you want something that's all beat up and scratched up, if that's what you can afford and it makes you happy, by all means, go for it. But if you want mint cream of the crop cars, good luck trying to find them. But when you do find them, be prepared to shell out that cash because you will spend a lot of money. Here is a green Camaro. Again, it's looking a little aqua, but it's this is a solid green. This is more like an emerald green. If, if the lighting was better, you would be able to see that. But this is, <coughs> excuse me, this is an emerald green Camaro. Uh, again, another beauty. Here's an antifreeze Camaro, okay? Just like the other ones I showed you, the Charger and the Barracuda, antifreeze Camaro. And then here you've got an orange Camaro, beautiful orange, okay? And, and I, I'm not going to get into all the differences between US, ver, U.S. versus Hong Kong. Basically, the Hong Kong cars have blue windows, and they have, <clears throat> excuse me, openings on the bases, which you can't see because I've got them all in the case here. But the U.S. cars don't have the openings showing the um, the torsion bars. So the U.S. castings and the Hong Kong castings were the two different castings that they had for the red lines. And the windows are blue. This one's a Hong Kong casting. Also, the... the uh, on some of these cars, the scoops uh, or the cowls on the on the hoods are longer or shorter, depending on whether they're U.S. or Hong Kong. This one is a rose color Camaro, very rare and expensive color, very expensive color, rose. Rose Camaros are bringing big money, and you don't find them in this condition. I mean, this car is just beautiful. Look at the look at the rose color on here. I mean, there's a little mark right. Can't even see it when I. I have to hold the camera at a certain angle. And here's a purple Camaro. That's really expensive. Pur anything purple in a muscle car is going to bring, bring big money. I don't care which muscle car it is, but anything purple in mint condition, mint condition or near mint condition like this, this car is gorgeous. It's going to bring big money. Okay. And then below that, I put the Firebirds because they look so f similar to the Camaros, but they're convertibles. The custom Firebirds. Here's your purple. Here's your more of a reddish orange. This is an orange Firebird right here. See the blue window, the Hong Kong version? Blue window. Also Hong Kong, blue window. Blue window. Here's a gold Firebird, blue window. Hong Kong. Here's a blue Firebird. Uh, no, excuse me, Aqua Firebird, blue window. Here's a U.S. Firebird. Custom Firebird US in sapphire blue. Beautiful blue. It's got one little nick, one little microchip right there. But I mean, look at the rest of that car. It's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. And if you hold the camera in, in different angles, I mean, you don't even focus on that nick. Who cares about it? It's, it's gorgeous. Car's gorgeous. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. The US cars don't have the toning like the Hong Kong do Hong Kong cars have rougher finish paint 
and more toning. Here's a beautiful gold U.S. custom Mustang. And I mean beautiful. This one cost me a lot of money. This is as near mint as you're going to get. Look at that gold, how rich it is. Honey gold with white interior, beautiful color interior. I have another one in my other case that's gold, but it has uh, uh, more of a, of a reddish interior. And that's a Hong Kong Camaro. But, uh, excuse me, a Hong Kong Mustang. But this is a U.S. Mustang in gold. And it is as, as beautiful near mint as you're going to find. Look at the lines on that car. Just absolutely incredible. How do you not love stuff like this if you're a guy in his in his 60s? How do you not love this? Here's a green Mustang, also a custom Mustang in solid green. Very hard color to find. Reminds me of the 68 Mustang driven by Steve McQueen in Bullet. His was darker. His was called Hunter Green. But if you look at this, or, or Highlands Green, excuse me, Highland Green, Highlands Green. But look at the look at the beautiful green. This is like a dark green, also as near mint as you're gonna get. Just absolutely stunning. Makes you feel so good to look at it sitting there. Notice how I have all of my cars equally spaced between the partitions. I mean, that's my OCD right there. That is that is CDO. CDO is when you have OCD, but the letters OCD are not alphabetically in order, so you call that CDO. Here is Antifreeze, Antifreeze U.S. Mustang. Again, U.S. Mustang with the clear windows. See? Beautiful car. Absolutely stunning. Stunning paint. I mean, Spectra Flame doesn't get any more psychedelic than that. These are all psychedelic colors. This is a copper one. This is a Hong Kong copper Mustang. Got a little toning. But I picked this up for a good deal uh, from another collector on eBay. He sold it to me for a very fair price. I think I paid $175 for this. As far as I'm concerned, I, I, I got every every penny's worth of it. And the car is beautiful, really is beautiful. And, you know, these Mustangs aren't cheap. You, you, you know, you're going to pay a lot of money for them. It, 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 you, if you buy all of these cars in their original blisters, if you can find them, you're going to pay a fortune. I mean... I can't afford that. I've had, I've got a few blisters, but most of my cars are near mint, loose, on display, and, and displayed by category. Here's a red one. Okay, beautiful red one. Here's a purple one. Very expensive car. Almost impossible to find. Purple Mustang. No nicks. No flaws. The same as all the other purple cars. The purple Firebird. The purple Camaro. The purple Barracuda. The purple Charger. I mean, all of these purple cars are unbelievable. They're insane. And you got the Cougar here. This is a blue Cougar. There's another blue one, the same thing. The difference being that's a U.S. with the clear window. And that's got the blue window. You can see in the back how it's like a, a tinted blue. That's the Hong Kong version. So the Hong Kong blue Cougar and the U.S. blue Cougar. They both have white interior. The Cougar was the personal luxury car, more of a, a, a upscale car than a Mustang. And it was designed for the people who were like um, the, the up and coming professionals that wanted a sporty car, but they wanted the luxury to go with it. And so then that was the car. The Cougar was a beautiful design. They had the XR7, the Cougar Eliminator. These were beautiful cars. This is a Cougar in light orange. And I'm talking about a very light orange. I would say almost like a tanger, tangerine. It's a super light orange. Not like the AMX below, which is a deep orange. A true orange. But this is considered orange. And I have another orange Cougar I'll show you in a, in a moment. But that one's a Hong Kong one. This is a U.S. orange Cougar. And it is beautiful. It is just a real sweetie. Look at the color. Look how... Look at, look, look at, look at the, they call it the patina, the patina, the finish of the car. It just, it looks old, but at the same time, it looks new. And it's got like, it's got that wear that only time gives it, but not from playing, just from the, 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 the paint changing very ever so gradually over time. The, 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 it takes on a, a different look. 
here's here's the cougar in, in antifreeze, also rare, beautiful antifreeze cougar. I mean, just absolutely stunning. I could look at these cars all day long. In fact, that's why I have them in my bedroom because I love to just stare at them. Makes me feel good. When I go to sleep at night, I look at my cars. When I wake up in the morning, I look at my cars, I check them. I make sure that that they're all, I mean, I don't touch anything, so they're, they're gonna stay in place. I have a great Ukrainian housekeeper. She respects my collectibles. She doesn't touch any of my collectibles. She She's very careful. So, you know, she knows how valuable they are to me. Here's here's a green cougar right here. Beautiful green cougar. Also the same emerald green. It's a lighter green than, than the Mustang. That Mustang is a very, you know, more dark green. That's what I love about it. But this is a, a, a green one, like the green Camaro and the green Barracuda and the green Charger. This is the same color green as those, Cougar. And then you got a very unusual, I mean, I've never seen one like this before. This is olive, but it's not your typical olive. Like this would be your typical olive Corvette, the custom Corvette. This is, this is typical olive, but this one is more of a platinum olive. I mean, look at this thing. This is, it's like, it's like just a very, very light celery platinum type of olive. It's unbelievable. What a gorgeous car. The way they made these cars and the weight, you feel the weight in your hands and you just know that they're worth every penny that you spent on them because you can't find them anywhere unless you're going to spend a lot of money and you get very lucky and it's going to take you years. I could never replace this collection. I don't care. I don't have the money to do it and I don't have the time. Okay, I'm 65 years old and cars like this are becoming literally impossible to find. And when you do find them, they're expensive and the sellers are either they're very greedy and they want more than they're worth or they know what the cars are worth and the buyers will fight like a pack of rabid dogs over them and they'll bid and get into a feeding frenzy like a shark and they'll all come in at the last three seconds of the auction or four seconds and you'll watch them double and, and quadruple. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Light green custom AMX. And here is a aqua. No, excuse me. This one is a green. This is a very, again, they look aqua in the light. This is, these are not aqua. These are green. Green Cougar, green AMX, custom AMX. Beautiful. When I got this car, the seller had the wrong size tires, the wrong wheels on the back. He had large wheels. I don't know why. I guess he, he liked the look of the, you know, made it more aggressive, like a drag car. But I, I brought that to his attention and I paid only $125 for this one. This is a beauty. And I told him, I says, you know, the wheels are not correct. And he just so happened to have the correct wheels in a little plastic Ziploc bag. And he sent them to me. And I ever so carefully popped off the extra large wheel, the large wheels, they're called large. And I put on the medium wheels, which are the correct wheels. These cars have medium wheels all around, just like the chargers. You know, it depends. each car has different size wheels. And there's, and there's also different types of wheels, like capped wheels and bearing wheels. I mean, you get into all this, you know, that would take me a long time to explain all that. But so these are the correct wheels and this is green. Here's an antifreeze, antifreeze, which is a very rare color in an AMX. Antifreeze color AMX, antifreeze, beautiful antifreeze. No blemishes, no nicks, no nothing. Orange AMX, red AMX, purple AMX. Look at the purple, another stunner, very expensive car. You can't find purple, just grape purple, you know, great like a grape. Reminds me of Fanta soda. Remember Fanta orange and Fanta grape? Reminds me of those soda colors, the, the colors of the soda from back in the 60s when I used to go to the beach in New York and then the stands would sell a hot dog and a Fanta. You'd order a Fanta grape or a Fanta orange and that's what you would say. You didn't say, give me a soda. You'd say, give me a Fanta, give me a grape Fanta, give me an orange Fanta. Well, here's a beautiful, Grape Fanta, 
Corvette. And this one cost me, I think I paid like 800 and some odd dollars for this. This car is unbelievable. Look at the lines on that. 68 Corvette. My God. The car is just drop dead gorgeous. You'll never find a purple one nicer than this. This car, I got to tell you, this is one of my nicest cars. This car is absolutely incredible. You don't find Corvettes that are this clean. Nobody played with this car. Whoever bought this car, they bought it. Must have been an adult. They bought it back in the 60s. They just put it away somewhere. They must have wrapped it up in tissue, put it away, and, and that's it. Um, Hong Kong and U.S. This is a U.S. They got the big wheels on the front. Uh, I should say the medium-sized wheels all the way around. Whereas the, the U.S. car, this is a U.S. car as well. U.S. red. Okay, this is a U.S. orange, also very rare color, U.S. orange. Orange is very hard to find in a Corvette, very expensive. This one's gorgeous, okay? This one is antifreeze. This is not lime. I also have lime yellow. This is antifreeze, and this is also a U.S. car. Unbelievable. Antifreeze Corvette, you will not find this clean. Everyone I've seen, go on eBay right now and... Type in Hot Wheels Redline Custom Corvette Antifreeze, one word. Watch all the junk that comes up, most of it not being true antifreeze, and none, I mean none, will be like this. This car is absolutely flawless. It is just, could you imagine a car like this in full size if this car was able to, to, to just be transformed into a full-size Corvette. I mean, it's not feasible. It's not practical to, to, to own all these cars. But the next best thing is to have the red lines. This is like owning the cars without having to deal with the maintenance and the storage problems. You, 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 have, you can have a collection. It's like being Jay Leno with Hot Wheels. Here's an aqua color Corvette. And this one is Hong Kong. You could tell by the small wheels in the front. The Hong Kong Corvettes all have small wheels. The U.S. Corvettes have medium wheels. So here's your Aqua. And it's a beautiful Aqua, by the way. It looks so... I've had this car since the late 90s. It looks so perfect for an Aqua Corvette. I've seen other ones. I was tempted to buy a U.S. one as well. But what do I need it for? I mean, I've got enough cars. And look at this. Look at, look at the beautiful paint on this. It's absolutely incredible. And then over here, you've got the olive. This is your your, your standard olive colored Corvette. Again, Hong Kong with the small wheels in the front. Beautiful car. Go below, you got the Lincoln Continental Mark III. One of my favorite, probably, probably my favorite of all time luxury cars. Uh, the big comp competitor was the Eldorado that they made back in the late 60s when they came out with the front-wheel drive Eldorado. But I like the Mark III better. The Mark III is gorgeous. This car is, I would call this, uh, looks more reddish-orange, but it's it's more of a, um, what do you call that color? Uh, the, the maroon color. I'll get to it. It's, it's it got so much going on in my mind right now with all these different colors. Magenta. That's it. Magenta. This is a magenta Lincoln Mark III. Gorgeous. And here is a beautiful aqua color. This is not blue. It looks blue, but it's not blue. Aqua color Lincoln Mark III. Another gorgeous one here. So you got. You got the magenta, you got the aqua, and here you got a gold one. Look at that beautiful gold one. Gold Lincoln Mark III. All my cars are as close to perfect as you could find. Whoever's watching this video, I hope you love red lines because this should be a real treat for you. I don't think anybody's sharing their collections with you like I am with this passion that I have. Here's the fleet side, orange fleet side. Look at this, I had this car. I remember when I was a little kid, when I was 10 years old back in 68, I used to run this thing all over the living room carpet floor. We had purple carpet, beautiful, luxurious carpet. And I would put this orange Hot Wheel track with the loop-to-loop. -loop, and I would run these things all over and race them. 
I mean, they were so cool. Here's the purple one. I remember having these. These they, I, they all come to mind. It's like having flashbacks. Purple fleet side. Okay, here's the Seasider, which has the little boat on the back. This is like a seafoam green or a, or a, like a light green, but it's more of a, it's not like the, the color light green as, as you would see the um, charger that I showed you earlier. Uh, this is this is ab absolutely gorgeous. This is like a like a like a seafoam green, or a very light green, beautiful. And here you have a U.S. Diora with the surfboards. These are original surfboards, and the U.S. Diora has the clear windows. The Diora is a concept car, beautiful car, and that that is that color is uh, lime yellow. By the way, that is lime yellow as opposed to this one, which is antifreeze. Notice how it's a little bit darker and the lime yellow has that yellowish tint to it. Plus this one has the dark windows. So, and they both have original surfboards, which are very hard to find. So this is the, the top one is the US and it's lime yellow. The bottom one is Hong Kong and it is antifreeze, okay? And here you have a purple Eldorado, beautiful custom Eldorado, which was the competitor of the Lincoln Mark III that I showed you. Another car that I just love, I'm crazy about. There's thunder outside. Looks like we're having a lot of rain or going to be soon. Here is an orange Eldorado. These have the, the matte black top, all original, all factory. I would never buy anything that wasn't original. I would never buy any uh, restored cars. Here is your Ford Thunderbird in gold, custom Thunderbird, beautiful gold with black top. Again, look at all these cars. Look how meticulous each one is. Here is an aqua colored Thunderbird, beautiful car, just stunning. They, they, the beauty never ceases to amaze me. Here is the Camaro, the most popular of the first series Camaros, the blue standard, sapphire blue with the black top. This is the most common Camaro you'll find, but you won't find them as nice as this. And if you do, again, hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Be prepared to spend hundreds of dollars because if you find one that has no nicks or no toning and is so lovingly cared for like this one, you're gonna spend a lot of money. There's no getting around it. You will pay, okay? So people who are cheapskates just don't even bother looking for these cars because you're not going to find them. You're not going to. You're not going to steal any of these cars. You're going to pay a lot of money for these cars. And one day when I'm no longer here, my two friends, my, they're like brothers to me. They're going to inherit my collections. I've got a lot of stuff that I've collected over the years. And let me tell you, you can't replace this stuff. It's, it would be impossible, or nearly. I'm not going to say anything's impossible, but nearly impossible to replace what I have. Okay, here's a purple. This is a purple Diora, and this is a Hong Kong because it's got the, per the dark windows. Okay, again, original surfboards. The skegs on the back of the surfboards. Skegs on the back of the surfboards are, are narrow. I could tell that they're original. These are reproduction surfboards. This is a Hong Kong, and the color is gold Diora. I'm trying to speed up a little here. Here's a gold custom Barracuda. Here is a light blue Barracuda, very expensive, very, very rare car, light blue, super expensive, over $1,000 for sure, light blue, custom Barracuda, and here you have the regular blue, custom Barracuda, another beauty, another gem. I mean, look at these cars, look, at the, look how they're all grouped by model, by, 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 by model, and then by color, oh, I forgot to show you, here's, a, here's the original case, the mag wheel case, with the original factory tag. How do you like that? The original Mattel tag in mint condition, still hanging from the original string. How do you like all that? And then here you've got the custom AMX, and the color is called yellow. They just call this yellow. This one I stole. I did steal this. I paid $325 for this car. This car is worth easily double that. I mean, you know, I made an offer. The guy took it. Um, he probably just didn't want to have it anymore. And, and I would never sell it. Look at this car. Yellow. Yellow AMX. 
sealed in the original blister, again in a protective case. Drop dead gorgeous yellow, flawless, absolutely breathtaking, flawless car. Okay, so that's this case right here. As you can all see, take a look. Everything is beautiful. Everything psychedelic. Who's going to have a collection like this? Show me a collection like this. I'd love to see it. I would really love to see it, and I would appreciate it. Now, the other case, which I am going to now show you on the other side of the room, because it's so big that it takes up a lot of room, is my Superman statue. Here's my... This is the best book you can get on Hot Wheels Red Lines. It's called The Elite Red Line Guide. This is the first edition, by the way. They make a second edition, but this is the original one. This is, you know, it's not as up-to-date, but it's, it's, I, I always love to have first editions. Here's a Johnny Lightning monster. I collect Johnny Lightnings, but not as much. Johnny Lightning Nucleon. And here's a new Hot Wheels Chevelle SS. They should have made this car. So 70 Chevelle SS 454. They should have made this car back in... In, in 68 through 71. I don't know why the hell they didn't make it, but it's not a red line, but it, it just definitely goes along with the other ones. Even got blue windows. This is made in uh, Malaysia or China, I want to say, but nice car. Here are some original cases. Look at the shape they're in. Very hard. It took me, it took me years to find these cases, mint condition, like new. There's a little custom box for an old 442. Here's a Johnny Lightning monster in its blister. Little picture. Here's a big case here. This holds 48 cars. 48 car red line case. Let me just get this out of the way. I'm just trying to speed things up because I got so much stuff to show you all. I hope you enjoy this. I really hope you're enjoying this video. And I don't mean to rush because my battery is showing that it's low. Okay. More chargers. Here we go. Uh... Another magenta charger. Beautiful magenta. Here you got a, a rose color charger. Charger. Beautiful ch rose color charger. Here you got a red charger right here. Got a little bit of an orange hue to it. Here you got an orange charger. One of the hardest colors to find in a charger is orange. Everybody says red and they call it orange. They say, it has an orange hue. That's bull. This is orange right here. This is orange. This has a few chips. That's fine. I still paid like $500 for this car. And you know why? Because you can't find an, a real orange charger. There's no orange chargers out there. You can't find them. There's a lot of fake orange chargers out there that are being passed off as real. And they're red. And they call them orange like this. They'll call this orange. That this looks red, but it's got an orange -ish sheen to it. This one is real orange right there. Big difference to a collector. Look at that. That's an orange charger. Beautiful car. Proud to have it. Love it. All right, there you go. There's a lime green or lime yellow. It's in the same shade family. Lime green charger. Okay. Here's another yellow charger. Can never get enough chargers. That's my favorite car of all time. The 69 charger. 68 through 68 through 70. That was my favorite car. I can never get enough chargers. I'm a charger freak. Here's here's the most expensive car I have, and I have two of these. I have another one of them tucked away in the drawer. This is the yellow Olds 442. Look at the shape this is in. This is easily a $2,000 car. Easily. And if you could find one like this, I don't think you would. You know, I paid $2,800 for this car. But look at this car. It's absolutely perfect. Would anybody else pay $2,800 for it? That remains to be seen. How badly do they want it? You know, everybody's trying to steal stuff, but you can't steal anything this nice. You're going to pay full value for it or else someone else is going to get it. Someone else who's willing to pay what they know it's worth. And this car is absolutely gorgeous. The wheels on the back, these are large wheels. This is called large. These are mediums on the front. Olds 442, like you would call it the, the holy grail of my collection. And I have another one. I'll show you that one before we finish. Here's a gold Corvette. I just got this one. Beautiful car. Gorgeous. Okay. There's a blue Mustang right there. And there's a 
gold Mustang. That's the Hong Kong Mustang. Remember I showed you the US one earlier? Here's the Hong Kong with brown interior. It's got a little toning to it. You got another Corvette here. This one is Aqua. I think this is, I think this is Aqua. Um, and then this one here is blue right there. The other one was green that I showed you before. This is Aqua. This is blue. This is lime yellow. Remember I showed you the antifreeze? This is lime yellow. This has more of a sheen or a shine to it. You know, it's more of a lime yellow. The other one's got more of a cloudy, milky look to it. Here's a pink AMX. Pink, again, one of the most beautiful colors ever made in Spectra Flame. Look at that pink. Absolutely drop dead, gorgeous car. Pink AMX, custom AMX. Magenta AMX, another one that's nearly perfect. I don't see anything wrong with it. I don't see any flaws. I can't find any to me. And here's a lime yellow AMX. I have the yellow one. No, this is yellow. Excuse me. This is a loose yellow one. The other one I showed you in the blister pack, that's yellow also. Here's a, here's a yellow loose one. Again, very hard to find without any nicks or chips. Very hard to find. Here's a, here's a light green different shade of light green. The other one I showed you was a light green. This is a different shade of light green. This is this is just so beautiful. I don't I don't, I don't even know what you would call it light green, but it's it's it's, you know, it's unlike any other light green I've seen. Here's a aqua color. Aqua. Look at the beauty of that. Look at that aqua color AMX. And here's a blue AMX. It's also aqua, but this one's more aqua. They vary in, 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 there's a range of shades. This is aqua, this is aqua, but look at how this one's more of a greenish aqua. And then this one's more of a bluish aqua. Here's a, here's a blue AMX. Here's a, another aqua Camaro, another US Camaro, aqua. The other one's a little nicer than this. More Firebirds. I'm just gonna go through these Firebirds real quick so you can see these are called spoilers with the engines exposed. This is called Light My Firebird. Light My Firebird. Look at the different colors. Light, and then you got Camaros. Okay. Heavy Chevy, they call this. The Heavy Chevy. The Boss Hoss Mustang. The Bifocal, which was the Dodge Challenger, but they stretched it out real long. Here's the Bifocal in all the different colors. Magenta. Antifreeze. Here's the Sugar Caddy. They call it the sugar caddy, like sugar daddy, the Eldorado, you know, all, all, all hot rotted up. The Barracuda, you know, it's all hot rotted up here. King Cuda, they call this the King Cuda, okay? And, um, you know, there's the, the Mercury, uh, just all these cars are incredible. Uh, Mighty Maverick, Ford Mighty Maverick in yellow, gorgeous car. This is, this is a uh, jet threat. This car is, it's like a, Seafoam green enamel. This is not Spectra Flame. This is enamel. It's called the Jet Threat. Uh, or is it? No, I'm sorry. This is the Rocket, Rocket, Rocket. Or is it Jet Threat or Rocket by Baby? I think it's the Jet Threat. Yeah, Jet Threat. Um, here is Don Perdome and uh, Tom McEwen, the Mongoose and the Snake. The funny cars. Mongoose and Snake. Right there. Can't see him on the. This is, this is the Mongoose. Right, and the snake. Hard to see, hard to focus with the, with this camera, or is this the mongoose? I can't really tell. Um, these are called chaparrales. These are beautiful, like the chaparral race cars. Look at all these mint condition cars. This is the Ford J car in green. Ford J car. This is one of the original Sweet Sixteens. Forgot to tell you, the first sixteen cars were called Sweet Sixteens. So here's here's a Sweet Sixteen Ford J car in green. Beautiful car. Haven't seen a nicer one yet. Red Baron, another very typical Ed, Big Daddy, Roth, Beatnik, uh, 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 custom, hot rod looking Red Baron after the German war ace pilot, the Red Baron, which is a very famous Hot Wheel casting. And the Volkswagen, custom Volkswagen, one of the first Sweet 16 cars. This one is the Ford Woody right there. There's the Hot Heap and Antifreeze. And here's one in green. 
enamel, and there's a red one, hot heap, beatnik bandit, beatnik bandit. Here's a silhouette in gold. Silhouette was one of my favorites. A silhouette in gold, silhouette in light green. I'm sorry, lime yellow, lime yellow. Silhouette and antifreeze. Notice the difference. Antifreeze, lime yellow. Window bubble. The bubble is, is clear. That means U.S. The bubble is blue. That means Hong Kong. Hong Kong, antifreeze, silhouette, lime Lime yellow, antifreeze. I'm sorry, lime lime yellow silhouette uh, from U.S. And here you got a pink silhouette. Beautiful pink silhouette. Very rare color. Beautiful. It's got a little toning, but it's gorgeous. And these are super expensive. I got this at a very cheap price, all things considered. Nobody nobody would believe what I paid for this car. I can't even believe what I paid for this car. It was... It was I did steal it. It was unbelievable. The price was a fraction of what it was worth. But look, look at that. Look at that pink. Look at that. Look at that beautiful, hot nuclear pink. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then here's a purple silhouette. I've had that one a long time, lo longer than any of my other silhouettes. Okay. And then here you got the python in purple, python in light blue. I love light blue. It's a beautiful color, light blue. And here you've got a python and antifreeze, one of my favorite colors, antifreeze. Okay, this is called a Torero. A Torero is like a Corvette custom design, but it's called, a, it's considered a fantasy car. The fantasy cars are, unlike the muscle cars, they're just concept cars. You know, they're cars that they, they, they made these designs, these one-off designs, and they were just uh, to, to, to test and see how popular the design would be. But this is a very Corvette looking car called the Torero in blue. I got all the different colors in the Torero. Aqua, I've got olive, I've got lime yellow. Again, look at look at the quality of the, of the paint on all these cars. I've got orange, I've got red, I've got a rainbow. Here's the turbo fire. Okay, oh, we're not even done yet. There's more, there's red down here. Turbo fire. In what is this? Uh, pink, yeah, pink turbo fire, and then light blue turbo fire, gold turbo fire, antifreeze turbo. No, li lime yellow turbo fire again, lime yellow. Even I get these mixed up. Antifreeze, see the, the, the milkish, milkish, cloudy looking difference. And this is antifreeze versus lime yellow. Okay, this is the twin mill. Love that car, Twin Mill. And that is, I have that in a 118 scale as well, uh, full-size model, beautiful. I have the, the, the casting. Twin Mill, and um, this is the uh, Seafoam Green Enamel. This is not Spectra Flame. This is, this is from like 71, this car. And then you've got gold, you've got sort of a uh, cross between pink and red, you know? Like a rose color, that one there. And it's purple again. And then you got a purple Torero, which I stuck in there. Wonder why I put that car over there. I wonder is it oh, because I have the Toreros above there, yeah. So, you know, sometimes I just have to slide one in in a different space. Okay. Turbo fire again, purple. Here we have Johnny Lightning, Johnny Lightning Ferrari, custom Ferrari in purple with white interior, in gold with red interior, custom Ferrari in, in anti, they call this antifreeze or lime yellow. Um, I think this is more of a lime yellow, but they call it antifreeze. Uh, Johnny Lightning has their own different color names, but it's, it's, it's lime yellow uh, for custom Ferrari. Here's the Jaguar E-Type, the Jaguar which was my, one of my favorite designs, beautiful car. It was for Enzo Ferrari's favorite car. And he said it was the most beautiful car ever made. Ferrari himself said that. Jaguar E-Type. Hot Wheels Red Line should have made this. They never made this car. But this one is Johnny Lightning. Johnny Lightning was owned by Topper, just like Hot Wheels was owned by Mattel. One of my auto transport customers is a relative, is his... his Aunt and uncle 
where Ruth Handler and her and her husband and uh, uh, Moscow, his name his last name is Moscow, M O S K O, and he is they, they were the founders of Mattel. So imagine that connection that I have. Um, one of my customers is actually uh, a, a descendant of the the Mattel Hot Wheels uh, and the Barbie doll uh, corporation. But that's a hell of a thing, you know. Here's a gold. This has a bad chip on it. I got this for like five bucks. I just threw this in there. This was, you know, it just was with another car. I couldn't resist. Picked it up for almost nothing. Uh, E-Type Jaguar. There's a purple Jaguar right there. That's a beauty. And here is, they call this one. <clears throat> this is a Johnny Lightning Mako Shark, which was the concept car that they designed the Corvette afterwards. Since, since Hot Wheels had the Corvette, they came out with their version of the Corvette, which was the Mako Shark, which was, that was the 68 through 73 body style of the Corvette. But this was the, the concept car that they came out with beforehand. So here's the Mako Shark, and that's in, in light, lime yellow. Here's a, here's a, you gotta look at this one. This was like, this was like a $600 car, and you can't find them this nice. This is a teal color GTO, Johnny Lightning, GTO, custom GTO, it's called, and it's in teal. Look at the color of this car. Teal is beautiful. It's like aqua, but it's more of a silverish. Teal GTO. They never made a GTO uh, Hot Wheels Red Lines. They never made one. So the Johnny Lightning custom GTO is very hard to find. And if you find one like this that doesn't really have too many flaws, you know, it's got the doors that open. This is from, this is from 1968, I and mean, this is an old car, you know, 50 some odd years old. You won't find them like this. And you and this, there was like 40 or 50 bidders that were going after this car. They were, again, like 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 a friend feeding frenzy of sharks. And I won it at the end. I won it. Here's another cougar. I showed you the orange one before. That was a light orange. This one is more of a regular orange, and it's the Hong Kong version. It has blue windows. And here is Maserati Mistral, which was a European car, uh, Maserati's car, very popular, beautiful car back then, uh, uh, an exotic for sure to compete with Ferrari. And here's a blue Mistral, here's a purple Mistral. Here is a, This the brand of this car is a, uh, Corgi Whiz Wheels, believe it or not. This is Corgi Whiz Wheels, and this is a Jensen Interceptor. This had a Chrysler 440 engine in it. Always loved that car. Jensen Interceptor 3. And then here you got a Di Tommaso Pan Pantera GTS in silver. That wasn't one of my favorite colors, but nevertheless, the car itself looks beautiful. The model looks beautiful. And the Ferrari, this is also, these are the same brand. Um, Tomica. Tomica, which is a Japanese brand. These are made in Japan. This one and this one are both Tomicas. And this, these are Matchbox Maserati Mayraks. And that's a, that's a Maserati Mayrak right there. That's a Maserati Bora, excuse me. Maserati Bora, which was the bigger, more powerful car than the Mayrak. The Mayrak by Tomica. The Pantera, which was a hybrid Ford engine. Uh, Di Tommaso, Argentinian, Italian body made in Italy by Pina, Pina, Pina Farina. And then you have the Bora in blue and the Bora in gold. And then here you have one of the most beautiful cars. Frank Sinatra had this car, believe it or not. The Lamborghini Miura, 1969. Lamborghini Miura, M-I-U-R-A. Here we have a gold one. Here's Matchbox. This is, this is a Matchbox car. Matchboxes were made in England, the original ones. Now I think they make them in China or Malaysia or wherever, but I have the English ones. I have the original Matchbox cars from England. I have a bunch of them. And here is a yellow one. So as you can see, this this case holds a hundred cars. This is a big case. Let me step back and show you. This case holds a hundred cars and I've got all my cases and everything on it. And it's just psychedelic looking. It's hard to focus and so hard to zero in. But it's just so psychedelic looking, you know, all the gems. It's like it's like just having a bunch of gems. 
And then, just to show you real quickly, I open this drawer here. <clears throat> a bunch of Hot Wheels stuff in here. Here's some more Hot Wheels cars. Here's another Olds 442 in lime, in, in yellow. They call it yellow. That's the one I was telling you about. That car's worth like two grand, right? Here's, here's another one. And beautiful. Here's a, a later model Corvette Roadster, but it's not a red line. That's a Beatnik Bandit in gold. There's some buttons. These are very important. That's a Olds 442 button. These are very valuable. They go, they go for between $100 and $200, depending on how lucky you are when you, when you try to find it. Here you got a, another pink AMX, lovely. And you've got another blue AMX, lovely. And you've got a drop dead gorgeous charger, lovely. The problem with this charger, I'll tell you, that you look at the trunk or the boot, you can see that there's a bulge in it. Look at the look how perfect the paint is. This is nicer than the other blue charger that I showed you earlier. But the difference is that this charger has a couple of casting flaws. It's got, it looks like when they put the rivet in from the base to, to, to the, to the, to the uh, body of the car, it looks like they might've punched the rivet a little bit too deep and it didn't protrude through the trunk, but it left, it left like a, like a, like a dent, a, 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 an up, a upside down dent in the trunk of the car. And then the hood is perfect, except one of the hood pins, I think it's the pin on, on the passenger side is missing. So, so the hood will open and close, but it's not secured on one side because it's missing a pin. I couldn't get rid of the car. It was too beautiful. I mean, if you look at this car, except those flaws, Look at the condition of the paint. I mean, why would you want to get rid of a car like this? It's too beautiful. Here is your original Hot Wheels tune-up wrench. These go for $150 or more. This one is in mint condition, so this, this one's worth, you know, a few hundred bucks. You can find one that's beat up for under 100 but it's not going to look like this. This, this. this one was apparently never used. It looks brand new. It came in the tune-up tower, okay? Here are some extra wheels. Here are the large wheels that I told you about that were on that AMX that uh, I had to, I had to change. I, I took these off. I put the medium wheels. Here's some. Here's a, a Matchbox car that has a, a Matchbox Pantera inside of it, but didn't want to display it. So anyway, I've got a lot of stuff over here. I hope you enjoyed this video. You look at all this for the last time, okay? And then I'm going to show you one more thing before I hit the stop button. So here's the, here's one last look at this other case. Okay. And Corgi Crime Buster set, all original Corgi Crime Buster set, Batmobile with bat boat and trailer. Moon Buggy, Corgi Heroes, Corgi Gift Set, Crime Busters, impossible to find, sealed, never opened, never opened. Here's the first version. Here's, here's the big one with the, uh, the helicopter, the Batcopter and the Batboat and the, and the Batmobile. And here's the first version, the GS3, Gift Set 3. Batmobile and Batboat and Trailer. This is the, the Holy Grail right here. You're looking at the, this is an original box. This is not a repro box. This is the Holy Grail of Batmobiles right here. Thousands of dollars. This is worth thousands, thousands of dollars. I wouldn't sell it because it would be like cutting off one of my arms. I'm not going to do it. Beautiful. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. And if I decide to post more in the future, and share some more of my collectibles. I will do so. I got a lot of stuff to share with you. Let me know if you like this video. Let me know if you like this kind of stuff because I'm looking to meet fellow collectors that are into the 60s and 70s that are into NFL mini helmets. Look at that mini helmet collection. Comic books, all CGC comic books in the boxes and some of them 
that, that there's no boxes for so i have them just neatly stacked together you know this is one of my customers dan pastorini the quarterback of the houston oilers he gave me the football he get he sent that to me love you blue dan pastorini dan pastorini yeah he's one of my one of my favorite players from the 70s Houston Oilers quarterback and a beloved customer and his niece, Heather. I can't say enough things about great things about that family. I love that family. Anyway, good night and hope you enjoyed the video.